it's kind of been a while, but welcome to Dinosaur Incorporated. Today, I kind of just want to give you guys a little bit of a scripting tutorial. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, especially on Discord, people have been messaging me. Um, just want to give a brief little thing that you kind of need to learn when you start scripting. The first thing I want to go over is some of the local and server, like localization, just because if you actually, in studio, when you're editing, you can see all these. When you're actually in the game on the client side, you're only able to access the replicator stores, server stores, and it takes out some of the others. This is how Roblox does the local side of scripting and mostly just player. But you can also switch to the server, which re-adds the server script storage and the server storage. It doesn't do too much. It just gives you more access to keep stuff away from exploiters. Uh, what I've learned to do is whenever I am, you know, scripting certain games, stuff like models, I'll put creatures or dinosaurs or whatever in a folder inside of server storage, then have a remote call them, which I will show you guys how to do in another tutorial. But it's kind of just to help Roblox keep exploiters out. If the programmer actually knows what they're doing and does it correctly, it's pretty simple. Um, one of the first things though I want to get started is just show you guys some variables. So let's say we make a part in the workspace, take this guy, name him Bob. Give Bob a brother, Bob's brother could be Jeff. But let's say we have a particle emitter inside of Jeff. Let's just make it to where it barely does anything right now because, you know, just using it to show you guys something. So we have one, two, and then three. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get stuff inside of another the proper way using object oriented code, which is what a lot of people out there should be doing. I know a lot of people don't. All right. So since this script is under the workspace, all you have to do is a local script, uh, local workspace, this is a script dot parent. You don't need to do this because workspace is automatically one thing that you don't have to reference. Like you could just do workspace.bob, it's already there. Uh, depends on what I'm doing, I'll do it. Depends if it's in a server script, so you need to actually reference the workspace easier. Just really depends. But let's name this script test script one, all right? I'm gonna do local test script is equal to script. That way you just create a variable with your script. It's easy, you don't have to do, this. it just makes tempting, some tum things 10 times easier. Sorry, I can't speak today, guys. That way you have the script being referenced and then you can just do print test script dot name. And then you see test script one here, it's only called test script here. You can press play. Maybe it doesn't because I didn't give it an actual reason to print it, but sometimes it'll work. It just depends. You could do, so Bob right here, local Bob is equal to workspace dot Bob. This is what you call object oriented coding. If it, and I'll show you what not to do on the particle emitter here. I'm just going to name it particle. You don't have to name everything, but it makes it easier to reference. With particle, you could do local Jeff is equal to workspace dot Jeff. And like this right here is object oriented. You're only going from its source to find it. A reference of non object oriented would be local particle is equal to workspace dot Jeff dot particle. That's not object oriented because you're going through more than one thing that is needed when you already have a Jeff variable, so you can go Jeff.particle. That's orientated. Let me look at the notepad. All right, variables. Another way to create, so when you're in a cert local script, you can't reference server script storage or server storage or server script service. You can't, it's hidden this local script. So the only way to find it is if you have a variable linking them, which I wouldn't suggest doing, but let's say, Let's show you what to do with a server script, which is just these ones named script. I usually name them server, especially if they're right here, since I usually use one. All right, server. Let's say we wanted to get replicated storage. 
you would do local duplicate storage name your variable so this is what it's going to be called you don't have to name it the exact thing that you're calling but it makes it easier to reference it is equal to game this accesses everything in the game you could use this to groove all of it game get service this is just the easiest way to actually make sure you get the correct variable to that and then you put this or yeah you know what I meant replicated storage it should already follow a fill because it knows what it needs to get the only things I'd ever really have to do to like to get the service for is replicated storage players And then you could also do it for server script service and server storage. I usually only do it for server script storage. And I like to separate my things a little bit. So it already shows you works. So I could just do work is equal to game, get service, workspace. That way, you know, we actually have a service that knows it gets to it. And then let's say we wanted to get Jeff. I do anything that has a get service or is a core thing of the game I separate with my other variables so since Jeff is I would treat it like a folder almost so you could go here go assets modules and the remote so I'm not going to show you any of those yet but they're there the way I would get that is go to my local assets is equal to replicate storage dot assets. You always want to do object oriented code. It's the best way to get anything done and to keep your lag at a minimum. Then with the other ones, I would create another section. I would go down one more, create another section. You do local remotes is equal to assets dot remotes. Boom. Same with modules. But since it's a server script, you could also have modules on the server side. So I usually do rep modules for replicated modules. Is equal to assets about modules. Boom. Variables, they're really simple. You need them for any code you are ever going to do. Ever. Like I was saying, you could also get this using non oriented code, but it just takes the server way more work to do, which would just be doing local remotes. I'll just take off the S so it doesn't duplicate it is equal to game get service replicated storage dot assets dot remotes that's way more work than you would ever need to do and it just doesn't help you at all another thing that a lot of scripters use and people don't really know it's there is the object browser let's say i was scripting a text button let's scroll down to the t's it's already alphabetical t's text button text button I'm blind, boom, text button. It tells you everything you can do with it. You can do, you can get the background transparency, automatic size, mouse enter when you just hover over, mouse leave when you stop hovering, when you click it. So there's more than one click it. You can do mouse button, one click, mouse button, one down, one mouse button, one up. Two click is right click, right click down, right click up. I usually do right click one click or mouse button one click that way even if, even if you're on mobile it works the exact same way the other one it could just have a little bit of a delay it only really depends but this is what a lot of people like to use it helps summon up everything you have accessory types which is like for hats you have really everything you would ever need or going to script it will tell you what is in here everything C frame value. This tells you what to do with C frame, not what to do, but things that you can access with it. Camera. A lot of people use cameras. Camera is a pretty important thing in coding and especially video games. It all depends. Click detector. It's pr pretty important. People know what, exactly what that is and what it does and everything that you can use in it. Bool values. There's also string values somewhere in here. I don't know if you can search it, but you can't. But you just kind of got to look for it. data source data source is very important remove a sync global data store remove version it's all this everything here is very important this just it's the best way to find exactly what you need to find at any given point any given time but since we're here I might as well show you some more of the variables since a lot of people don't understand them and I'm going to show you how to 
get a module, but I'm not, we're not gonna show you how to use it yet. I'll use that in more different tutorial. So you have a module script here, but you can't, you can't just do local module script is equal to modules dot mod that doesn't work that's not how you that's how you can get the variable for it but that's not the best way it's, you can't get any information from the module modules are used to either store information store functions you can use cross script it's they're important you have to do local mod you can use the variable whatever you want this variable where it's from the thing that you're getting so you can do module info is equal to required you need to do required it's the only way to get modules it's the only it's the only way to get modules module script boom that way if you ever actually have information in here whether it's just you know math or storing stats doesn't really matter you can put them in there and then reference it later on I know some games will create multiples and obviously it wouldn't be in replicating storage but you could do like let's say it was a dinosaur game and they have different stats you could do tyrannosaurus boom that's one stat you could have the health everything you need in there same for all these those could, those could all be just different random dinosaurs doesn't matter it's there um, that's pretty much what I was going over with you guys today I will probably get out a GUI one later, not scripting on GUI, but how to properly sort your GUI and how to actually make sure everything fits. I will get you that probably later today. But if you guys enjoy this, let me know. If you have any questions, join the Discord. Um, DM me, Mal. Every, everybody will just tell you to DM me if you ask any questions scripting wise. So just give me a heads up. Let me ask your question. If you have a good question that other people ask in the comments, I'll probably make a video referencing to that. Um, I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your guys' day.